right, we're here. I am Esteban Manureva Fuensalida, and I'm here with um, the greatest Cristian Moreno Pacarati <laughs> once more in a new episode of Aqua Transmissions. Yeah, man. Uh, we, we chose a very special venue for this recording, even if you don't see it. We are here in a cave uh, near Hangapo Kura. It's a cave that was used in the past for uh, probably different purposes, but it's clearly a quarry for Kejo stone. Slates. And, uh, slates, yes. And um, it's full of bird manure now. So it's, there's lots of pigeons that are nesting in here. And we have the waves breaking against the base of a cliff uh, right down here. Maybe how many? 20 maybe feet down? 20 feet down, yeah, yeah, yeah. most probably. So you'll see the sooty, you'll have the soothing sound of the ocean breaking in the background for you, man. Yeah. Well, so this in this episode we are going to talk about something very special that has been requested by some of our listeners. And it's about BS, or properly said, uh, all the bullshit that surrounds Rapa Nui when it comes to the media attention that this island draws. Uh, so what do you think, uh, Steve? Well, uh, I guess the island has more and more, I guess, thanks to the mass media, for one thing, and, all, and the internet, but uh, I guess mo more often because of the misinformation that people have whenever they write about, whenever they see something around Easter Island, because everybody says that it's such a mystery, everything is so, is so mysterious here in the middle of the South Pacific, and, uh, you know, that allows a lot of uh, non-realistic stuff to come around, you know? I think uh, uh, a lot of new age uh, <laughs> esoteric stuff, you know, for one thing. You also have other people, you know, like um, alien stuff, you know. You also sure. have fake information going around. Fake news. Fake news, you know. Yeah. For example, the classic fake news that I... It, this is the bullshit that I probably I have to... I have to cover the most when I'm in the field with people is that um, the heads of Easter Island. The heads? The heads of Easter Island. Everybody says like they all covered up. Even yeah. in the platforms, even in the Yahoo's, you know, the, one of the most common questions that I get is like, oh, but the statues at a platform are not buried. Yeah. They're like, no, they're, it's that what you see is all there is, right? Yes. And, what you uh, see is what you get. What you see is what you get, right? But I guess all these things are conveyed under the the carpet of, of you know. Uh, um, well, let's destroy some of these uh, uh, bullshit, right? All right. Yeah. Uh, so when it Come comes on. to the heads, right? Where right. does the, the the heads of these the statues come from? It comes from the time when the only statues that were upright were statues semi buried at the Ranuraraku. Uh, quarries, like in um, the inner quarries in the crater, and also the outer quarries located in the mostly in the southwestern slopes of the mountain. Yeah. Uh, southern and southwestern slope. So uh, the only thing visible there was heads, uh, or well, still today, or yeah, busts like from the chest up, right? Yeah, they but seem to be buried. Today. They yeah. seem to be buried. Right? So when statues started to be re-erected from 1956 onwards, well, in fact, even earlier, we have some experiments in the 1920s, 1930s, especially with the statues raised by Tejeda, Doctor Tejeda, Alvaro yeah. Tejeda Lawrence, in 1938 in Hangaroa. Well, it was clear statues are full bodies. Uh, even before that, statues found in different platforms, but fallen statues. Uh, were full torsos, it was just that they were fallen, right? Face down or face up, but they were the full torso from the hips all the way up. So yeah. it's just that they were not popular because people just cared about the statues that were standing. So I don't know if this qualifies as bullshit, but it's clearly people that have old news. Maybe not, not fake news, but really, really old news. And I guess it's just the, the manipulation of misinformation, I guess. You know, the manipulation of what you see, right? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, one of the classic things <laughs> but, but, is like, yeah, the, the, oh, they just discovered a couple of years. I read an article not too long ago yeah. that claimed that shit, and they showed a picture with Thor Heyerdahl uh, <laughs> at the quarry uh, from 1986. You Thor, know? Thor Heyerdahl resurrected, man. Yeah, dude, like, that, that picture is from 1986. It's a fucking um, postcard. We use it as a postcard. 
Yeah. And, and, and you know, like people are still believing that they're the just, recent uh, discovery. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, well yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, what what I uh, think it's funny is that uh, when you discover something on the internet, it doesn't mean that it's a new thing, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Or it doesn't even mean it's real, like. That's the point. Like one time, I also and I, I went to this French site. I'm gonna look for it, and probably I'm gonna try to put the link in it so you can see it. That these people were saying that the rock, for example, from that the statues were carved from, was um, was not from this world. Was not world. from this world. Was not from this <laughs> earth. From this planet. It was a uh, it was a rock that was it's uh, it's gone because it was a meteorite crash that crashed in the middle of the South Pacific. Dude. How, so like. How? That's the, you go from so this is this is what I'm saying like you go from having a little bit of you know not full information but not false information yeah. to fully fledged bullshit yeah you yeah know? like you got this whole range of stuff you know and but but it's interesting how uh, tourism businesses on the island have kind of started to use the bullshit to promote their their business. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, it's, it's crazy. So when it comes to the heads, itself, right? Itself. Um, they they have the, these Twitters or these Facebook pages or these uh, whatever, like websites, anywhere. And uh, they say, uh, did you know that the heads of Easter Island are not just heads, but they are full bodies? Come to us and we will give you a tour and we will tell you the truth about it, right? That kind of shit. Oh yeah, every. I mean, if you take a look at all the web pages, even from TripAdvisor, even from people that are not even doing tours, but like those, a, even even like hotels and shit like that, they're using the words those, mystery. They're using the words. Um, uh, <laughs> don't get me even started with dude, TripAdvisor, like, man. Dude, so like you 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 get to see all this stuff. Discover the mysteries, explore the mysteries, explore the magical mysteries of Easter Island. We we covered a little bit of this in the first uh, in the pilot episode of our podcast, and really, uh, the mysteries are not what people think are mysteries. Most oh. of the things that people believe are mysteries of this island are not really mysteries at all, right? And 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 the real mysteries of this island, there are some, right? But they are not the ones people think uh, they are. Well, and 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 in that way, I think in that way you. You, uh, I guess you change a little bit of the per, a little bit the perspective of how people see the island. Because like now you you take a look and okay the mysteries of Easter Island and you and you take a look at the heads and you know everything that people all these words everybody use the word heads. That's that's a one funny thing. Everybody, please, please don't please. use that word again. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, if, if you're coming to the island, if you're visiting us, we'll be very thankful if you don't use the word heads, heads. because they're not heads, they're torsos. And use the proper word Moai, yeah, not, yeah. not Maui, nor, nor uh, Moa. No, no, it's it's Moai. Moai, yeah, there's a word for it, you know, like it's not hard. But the, the thing is like, Again, like going back to a little bit to the economical perspective of what bullshit is. A lot of, I guess most, not to say all, but most of the tourism businesses on the island, they profit from this bullshit, you know? They profit from the fact that everything is a little, it's it's counterintuitive in, in its information, you know? So like, they take advantage of it and tour guides do that too, you know? Like I see that a lot of people that make up stuff, you know, that... There are very, you know, well-known stories about, you know, inland uh, tour guides and stuff like that that are full of shit, you know. So like, so like, the thing is. So we we, we see that that obviously tourism businesses profit from it, but also oh, yeah. some uh, self-professed scientists uh, profess from it too, right? Because it's really easy. The straw man, right? The the, the straw man argument. Yeah. It's yeah. it's like. A, All right, I wrote this paper refuting that the aliens did this, or I wrote this paper refuting that um, the rock from Ranuradaku is not from this world, or I wrote this paper uh, refuting that the collapse, an alleged collapse due to the foolishness of the Rapa Nui people occurred. I mean, that's really easy, man. And anybody can do it. A, a, a 12 year old in. in Maybe not a 12 year old. Let's I say mean, a 15 year old in, in secondary uh, school, in high school, yeah, right? High school could refute that for in a homework, right? Yeah, That's yeah. not difficult at all. 
Um, so they are also profiting a lot from the the oh, bullshit, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. And and now we're getting into one of the other major bullshit sites here on the island: pseudoscience. Ah. Pseudoscience and all these people that you know um, are very satirical and they play a lot with the energies and stuff like that. Easter Island is a place full of energy, man. Yeah, Dude. I, I, I remember when uh, touring one day, I saw this guy and he was dressed like a some kind of a shaman from uh, the Amazon or whatever. I, I, I'm not sure because they are s the level of of, of charlatanery is, is so huge yeah. that I don't even imagine from how the guy was disguised, what, what he was pretending to be. But this guy was, he had uh, countless seashells hanging from, from, no, it was not seashells, but it was some, some sort of a coconut, whatever, like some, but countless of them hanging from his uh, jacket, right? Yeah. And then he was blowing um, a sea snail, like a, a horn, sounded like a oh, horn, yeah, but yeah. it was like a... Like a snail. Like, like a, a snail, like, yeah, 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 like strange thing. Shells, yeah. It sounded... Yeah. And then he was holding hands with uh, some, some partners there. Oh, yeah, man. And then facing the statues and making some reverence towards them. And then they blew the horn in a different direction and, and did the same thing and then to the other direction. And uh, what's the problem? That sort of, of, of stupid crap kind of ca catches the attention of people looking for the exotic stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think that more than trying to seek the exotic and, 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 and out of this world, the otherness in the Rapa Nui people, it's much more interesting to find out how human and, and how, how uh, uh, normal they were, right? They, they were human beings living under specific conditions and they develop their cultural traits and their material culture based on things that are pretty logical from their perspective. It's not something uh, ridiculous. It's not something like these people pretended to be. Oh like, yeah, like, definitely. Like for example, every now and then I see people doing that bullshit. You know, like dressing up like shamanic bullshit from the Orient and like wearing yeah. whatever fucking rock like rose. like like rose and rocks, you know, precious rocks like lapis lazuli and bullshit like that. Yeah. And and like and and I see people like uh, for example not too long ago I see I saw a show in the Chilean television, you know, about yeah. um, it was this guy that was called Doctor File. And uh, yeah. unveiling and, uh, all the let, let me say the name so no because we are not cowards here, we just say things straight to the no, no, straight I'm, to the face. Cristian Contreras Radovich and he calls himself Dr. File. Yeah, right? he's like his uh, pseudonym, right? And he's, he's kind like, of a yeah. star in the in the uh, Chilean television in, in that shallow and, and, and absurd Chilean television. Right? Yeah, yeah, that, that that bullshit that sells, right? Like for example this guy is looking for clues that connects the Egyptians with the Mayans, with the fucking Easter Islanders. And the Anunnaki. And, and the Anunnaki uh, and the other world and the energies and the rocks, you know. And Jesus Christ with the uh, second coming. And, yeah, uh, yeah. That, I think that's... In a, a spaceship. You know, I, th I think, officially speaking, like, there's a psychological thing going there, you know. Like, uh, looking for all these people that look for patterns in different shit that has no connection whatsoever to each other, you know. Sure. So, like, you see all this stuff, you know. And, and you, you said you, you and were seeing sells. Dr. File or so something? So, I, I, yeah. I was watching this television program and I was baffled because this guy was making, you know, millions of pesos, you know. He was making a lot of money yeah. on bullshit. And there was nobody there to refute him. And I was like, I would love, I would love if, dude, if Christian Contreras Radovic, if you're listening to this shit, I would love if you could come here or maybe I can go there. Um, me, Esteban Manureva, Fonsalida, Rapu. Well, Zamora, really. And, um, go there and debate and talk about this stuff because you know I think you're giving yourself a name that you don't deserve you're giving yourself a he claims he's a doctor in philosophy I mean even if you're even if you are even if you even if you have it like if he is he he's full of shit yeah he, but 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 given an, argu an argument from authority doesn't mean anything you could you could be you could have a PhD in Harvard if, for all I know but that doesn't mean you know shit about this place. And the fact that you made that program, all these programs connecting all the sheds, you know, and you're 
passing yourself to be somewhat um, a guru, a guru with a lot of wisdom in ancient societies and ancient civilizations. Like, come on, give me a break, man. Yeah, uh, well, I don't know if you remember, but I issued him a challenge before, before when I knew he was coming to the island. I issued him a challenge through Facebook. I quoted him. I sent him a message through his own personal Facebook. And lots of people retweeted or uh, shared on Facebook this challenge that I issued towards him uh, to have me on the program. Um, not even on the program, to give me a couple of minutes in an interview here on the island. Yeah. And uh, the guy's a wuss. So oh, yeah, no, if he's listening no, to this, right. and, uh, and, no, he's a coward. These people won't give you any answers. Like, again, like, if you, if you just scratch a little on the surface on these people's argument, they're full of shit, you know? So, yeah, like, you destroy it completely, you shatter it. Yeah, so like, you know... No, but in the end, uh, he's it, feeding... He, he, it's not just that he's taking advantage from the ignorance of people. He's feeding the ignorance of people. Yeah, that's the problem, That's right? the problem. He's, he's, he wants people to stay ignorant, as ignorant as possible uh, about things. Yeah, and also he de deviates the information. He deviates all the, the, the people's perspective towards bullshit. So that's what I don't like. The fact that, you know, like, people come here and, and honestly sometimes they feel fucking disappointed because they read a lot people take a look at all the stuff in the internet and then they come here and they figured out oh this is completely different man the, the worst worst feeling in my life i even felt bad about it was when there i had this traveler that at the end of the three two three days of tour we had uh he looked at me after i kind of explained how whatever i think orongo um, ceremonies were and the guy looks at me with this with this sad and, and 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 well sad look this these eyes that are kind of desperate a little bit because they need this right and he says something like uh well but are there still mysteries right so so the, are there still mysteries please tell me there are some mysteries right yeah and and i said well there are some mysteries right it's just i'm sorry to disappoint right because we have the answers to all those things that you believed were mysteries We have, we have the answers to the origin of the first people on the, uh, this island. We have the answers to how the statues were carved. We have the answers to the meaning of the statues. We have the answers of, of when the island... Well, I don't know. We have all the, all the answers for that, the stuff that has been sold and still is sold oh, as mysteries, yeah. right? Uh, but, but it's like people need it, right? To a certain I mean, extent. Yeah, definitely. It's fun. It's intriguing and it's entertaining. I get, I get it. You know, I get the fact that mysteries are fun, mysteries. But again, like, does what does that to the image of the island? What does that to the image of people? You know, and 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 I think it's nothing. It it brings nothing but 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 misinformation I guess yeah it brings nothing but, but but pointless arguments and people wasting their time you know looking at this shit thinking that they're gonna get some good information and and sadly they don't and sometimes it's fun because I, I love to do it like on a personal level I, I don't complain in that sense because I love to debunk bullshit you know yeah because it's fun but but at some point it's also boring because like people people really do Um, want to know stuff, you know. People really do want to know things, and and sadly, what you when you look when you Google Easter Island, the first thing you're gonna find is always bullshit. It's yeah. always aliens. It's always mysteries. It's always pseudoscience, uh, new age stuff, you know. When it comes to aliens, we have this guy uh, Sixto Paz. Oh come on! Do you remember? Uh, he, yeah, where, yeah. Where is he from? From Peru? He's from Mexico? A, I think he's from Peru. Peru. From, from yeah. Peru, yeah. Well, this guy from uh, Peru, Sixto Paz, um, is like a f relatively famous ufologist in uh, South America. So, uh, well, obviously, with all that that means, right? Famous yeah. ufologist in South America. So, he's the kind of guy that appears in these morning TV programs in South America. If you've been to South America, do not ever turn the TV on in the morning. It's the most stupid, ridiculous. Or if you want to uh, have a gag, maybe you do. If you want to have a, like a like a little laugh, maybe you it, should. It's not even funny anymore. Uh, well, yeah. 
If yeah. you're doing it for the first time, it is. It is. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, so this guy, Sixto Paz, uh, comes here and does regular um, uh, groups here that come to the island. He comes here and, and brings people. And there are tour agencies from the island that support him, that, that give him the, the buses and, and the vehicles, and they give uh, him uh, the necklaces, flower necklaces, they give him uh, all the support that he wants to spread his uh, crap, right? I mean, this total, absolute crap. So that's why I say that there's no integrity to uh, tourism, to business, to economy. There's no integrity to it uh, here on the island, because if I... Well, we do have a like a a, a, a startup, right? But uh, I will never kind of get involved with that kind of, of, of crap, I right? Mean, it, especially if you if you proclaim yourself to be pro island, if you're if you're if you're that that that's what that what you said just yet was something really important. Is that whenever I see the true colors of people, I see the true colors of tour agencies. Whenever I see stuff like that happen, like, and then they say that people are, oh no, we're pro island, we want, we want good tour guides, we development. want we're development, we want good shit, and then you know, at the same time, you make a profit out of this bullshit, and yeah. you support, and you and you approve, not only approve but support this bullshit. Yeah. So yeah. that's when I realize I see the true goals of people. Okay, you only care about money. You don't care about anything else. Sure. You really care about Where's your integrity as a Rapa Nui, yeah. right? If, yeah, if, right? If you're Rapa Nui, you should not support that crap. Yeah, especially crap like that. Especially crap like that. I mean, if you're if you're asking me, the only kind of thing esoteric. You know, I'm a very skeptical guy. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, myself, I'm a very skeptical guy. I, I like to question everything, right? Because it's fun. But um, <laughs> but the thing is like. If you're going to use these archaeological sites, and this is when I say, this is when I think that we don't see these places, these archaeological places as real human patrimony. Why? Because we, we allow people like this, these stupid ceremonies that have nothing to do with the Rapa Nui culture. Oh yeah, man, that, that, and, and, that, that really, you know, it's really uh, annoying and, and it really upsets me when that happens. Yeah, so you, you, we allow, the national park entities allow these people to go in there, occupy these places for this bullshit meme of of what whatever westernized esoteric bullshit is like new this age, new age stuff. You know, like you know, like aliens and shit like that. If we're going to allow the national, if you ask me, my own personal opinion, if we're going to allow the occupation of the national park, human patrimony. In this place, for anybody, it should be for the purposes intended to for for, for, for the building of it, right? Sure. It should be for the for for the call to the ancestors. It should be to to remember some 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 of the actual festivities and cults of the Rapa Nui people, not some some bullshit ufologist of of South America. Yeah. You know, like so. That's when I see again. That's when you see the true colors of people. My, my, you know, bullshit, it's, you know, I'm not saying bullshit, it's, it shouldn't exist. It's always going to do. It's, it's always going to be there, you know. As, bullshit as, is as long as there are humans on this planet, there's going to be bullshit. It, right? Yeah. And, but we and, should not support it. We should not uh, allow that to, like, like we, sh we should I, not give them a free run. That, that's the only yeah, thing, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's the point. I'm not saying it shouldn't exist. Well, hopefully it shouldn't exist. But you know, I, since it, since they exist, since they we exist, should we should we should we should do something about it. You know, we shouldn't just let them roam around and spread this bullshit. And then you ask people to be certified. Yeah. You know, and then you ask for people to be certified tour guides and shit like that. So it's, when, it's okay if the uh, merchant of bullshit is not certified. Yeah, but it, but you have to be certified to be a tour guide. Oh yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> dude, you you gotta be it, you know. Otherwise, we won't let you in. And I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You let this asshole. <laughs> and and that's when you see that everything runs with money. Bullshit, you know. Bullshit comes along and money takes the bus in, and that's it. And as long as you have money, they'll let you do anything. And that's what I don't like. 
but but you think that we should classify or, or that bullshit is classified between aliens and new age stuff? Because I, oh, I no, 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 bull bullshit comes and, in all sizes. And, and new age and, and, and aliens are sometimes related. Do you remember this uh, Heaven's Gate cult? It was oh, yeah, esoteric yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was aliens well, at the yeah, same I'm time, not, right? Well, one, yeah, one one thing doesn't exclude the other, you know? Yeah. Of course, bullshit is... It's, it's, bullshit is bullshit and bullshit that's is bullshit, right? yeah. yeah. And I mean, and not only that, I mean, I see bullshit in other stuff too, like people making up information, right? Like, especially when it comes to, um... You yeah, know, uh, I mean, well, uh, bullshit in the fringe uh, areas, okay, they're popular. Probably if you Google or if you go to YouTube, I don't know how you found this channel, but I'm sure that if you just uh, put on YouTube, Easter Island, there will be a lot in the, in the first... Um, I don't know, 100 results, I'm sure that 40 or 35 or 40 of them are aliens. Oh yeah. Aliens. Aliens. And you have all these ufologists talking about, uh, well, that has, what's the name of that Greek guy that appears in Ancient Aliens? The one that has uh, oh, that the weird crazy hair? haircut? Oh yeah, that right? guy is a meme, right? I don't uh, know his name. Giorgio Tsoukalos. Giorgio Tsoukalos. Yeah, Tsoukalos. Yeah. Right, uh, well. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, uh, Giorgio. Uh, I, I love your your approach to things, right? So, if we don't know something, the only rational, likely, and possible explanation is that aliens yeah. did it, right? Yeah, they, so they, they, that's aliens, cute. It's cute. It's cute. Aliens is the cop out answer. You know, whenever if you ever hear a tour guide or anybody talk about aliens here, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about other places because I'm not specializing on the place. But if you if you talk about if, if you hear anybody talk about aliens here, that's a fucking cop out. Yeah, that's but just to just just to give you an answer. Uh, but whenever people don't know shit. But what do you think, Steve? Because well, how much is the extent of uh, bullshit tourism on this island? So do you think it's really widespread, or, well, or do you it's think getting it's getting widespread? It's getting, and that's what I'm. That's so far, I've seen well in, you know, my experience is not a very good parameter because I've worked for relatively well good companies and so on and uh, with that, that still have some integrity so in general most of the the tourists and I've done regular tours I've done private tours I've done Explorer hotel like tours I've done all sorts of, of, of private services and yeah. so on so uh, in my experience I think that of the well, probably already thousands of tourists that I've been with maybe have had like three or four that were openly Alien supporters, like, like not, not alien supporters, but supporters of the alien theory that, that everything on this island and everything pretty much in the world was done by aliens. And but how many people have, how many people have come here that you have changed their minds that they thought that they were aliens first and then you changed their minds? So you have an alien. Um, uh, uh, there are people that are kind of on the fence, that, yeah. that are kind of like, okay, well, I don't know, and, and, and since it's so strange, maybe there's a possibility that aliens did it, and when they come here and I explain how things were, uh, well, I'm, I'm sure that 90% of them, of the ones that, that gave the alien theory a chance, and I'm using very loosely the word theory here, yeah. uh, uh, well, they, they no longer give it a ch any chance. They say, oh, yeah, it's completely ridiculous. So if the aliens, for example, very simple argument. If the aliens uh, carved the statues, why did they choose the, one of the softest possible rocks on the island to, to make the statues from, right? Why didn't they use hard basalt? Why didn't they use, uh, like, the really hardest types of rock to make statues? They could have carved statues out of diamonds if, 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 Dude, we, if, if they come, wanted. If you right? come from another galaxy, man, you can do whatever, man. And, and second, right, uh, if the statues that were transported, um, there's a 75% success rate with the, with the transportation of the statues. So uh, the aliens had the technology to cross the universe, but they sucked at moving statues. Right? So how is it possible, right? And th with that, that's enough. That's generally enough to refute completely. Because, obviously, if you claim it was aliens, you have to prove it was aliens. How are you going to prove it? Give me one piece of evidence, as uh, Richard Dawkins <laughs> said. Show me the evidence. Show me the evidence. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, you could, you could even argue. You can just bullshit your way around that, man. You could just say the lack of evidence is evidence of aliens. They were just covering their steps while doing their bullshit, yeah. I don't know. 
But like the thing is, I I think it's uh, alien alien. St- well, not only alien stuff, but bullshit stuff. It's getting the highway. It's getting into the the, the, the high road of the Rapa Nui uh, tourism business, and it's more and more. It's getting more popular, and that's why I'm afraid. That's why one of the main reasons why I wanted to talk about this, and it's because I'm kind of afraid that people get the wrong image of what the island is, and you know. The island is, it's enticing to the imagination. I get it. It's enticing to the imagination and it's fun. But, I, you know, like, if you want to, if you want to really know, if you want to really know what's, what happened here, you don't have to embellish the island. You don't have to embellish the history here. You there's no to, need to do there's that. There's no need to do that. If you really want to know the island story, it's beautiful as it is. It's, it's beautiful. It's it's glorious. It, it's it's really glorious. It's, it's as it's, glorious as the statues are. Yeah. So, in not only the statues but the place itself, there's so much stuff that you don't even wonder about. You know, and 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 it just strikes me whenever people says you know whenever I see all these bullshit people and they're always very cocky, you know. And that's what I hate the most. They're always very cocky people, like wearing the robes and shit like that. They pack chopper stuff, you know. They 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 they, they come here. They they read a co- they read a couple books, and and you know like it fucking it, it just gets me, you know. And I and and it's because I guess I work here, you know. I I, I make the effort for people to learn. I like people when I like the faces of people whenever they ask me stuff. And they keep asking questions and asking questions, and they're getting more involved in it. That's what I want. I want people getting involved in the island, but the bullshit is not gonna do it. Esoteric stuff is not gonna do it. Energy stuff is not gonna do it. Magnetic fields of the island are not gonna do it, man. Yeah. Definitely. No, not. definitely not. But so, like, but when when it, when it comes to that that yeah, so bullshit related to tourism. Well, it's huge because anything that's marketable, anything that, that that's involved with capital capitalistic economy, obviously, will have some dose of bullshit. And uh, well, it's really pervasive and it's really contagious, and it, it it will likely continue to grow. Right? There's a big market for bullshit stuff, right? But what worries me more than that, right? Because some people, like even I'm sure that some of the people that came with six topas and and some of the people that came with a that shaman kind of guy. Um, or even if Deepak Chopra finds a, a spiritual portal to Easter Island that's communicated through quantum mechanics oh, yeah, with a second law of thermodynamics that brings oh, yeah, peace yeah. for the future of mankind to just bring uh, and, bring, and brings a group yeah. to the island, right? With that, that kind of, exp- well, pseudo-explanations, right? Uh, well, I'm sure lots of people don't take it seriously. They just come... Uh, for the memes, they come because it's fun, and they'll say, "Oh, okay, let's let's see what this guy's uh, gonna say about it." And if they have fun, that's that's fine. Like like yeah. most people do not come here for educational purposes, right? Uh, they come to have fun, and some of them, a smaller percentage, come to learn um, and to live an experience or whatever, right? Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's like some of the people that come with the bullshit related to tourism, um, they don't believe in it really, necessarily. But what's, what really uh, worries me a lot more is how the bullshit, like it's, it's more subtle, it's not, not aliens anymore, it's not completely new age kind of not completely new yeah, age we're kind talking of stuff, about the French right? bullshit right we're, we're yeah, talking that, about the fringe. extreme yeah that yeah. we're talking about you know extreme bullshit yeah right? but yeah. but but how it, it's starting to affect lots of uh, so-called scientific work peer-reviewed stuff right and it's starting to, to get into it it's starting to get into the minds of some of the people that, that work and are purported to be scientists yeah, I don't know if you if you saw the most recent France Five documentary. The France Five? No, no, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, you're the Frank Francophone guy. So, yeah, so how, uh, how do you call this France Song? Or how, uh, how do you call the, the, the name the, of the channel? The, the well, what's what's the name of France Five? France Song. France Song? Oui, yeah. Oui. France yeah. Song. Okay. France. So, uh, in that channel, Channel Five. Uh, there was this document. I'm on it. 
I am on it. Um, uh, uh, but I just say, like, I don't know uh, how they edited me because they have a voiceover. But right. um, so like they, the, they, they put they put a French the, translator. The, the documentary is like the story of, and it's a, it's, it's kind of the, the the quest for truth of one Belgian archaeologist called Nicolas Cove. Um, and Nicolas Cove, it, it's true, he has done some field work on the island. But man, some of his appreciations and, and it's not just me saying it I know the guy I discussed with him in the Berlin conference in 2015 right uh, and and truly some of the things he says are completely ridiculous are completely ridiculous yeah statues carefully lowered down statues oh, yeah, carefully cool. lowered down oh yeah so all the statues of the island were not toppled they were carefully lowered down man I have some news for you we, I'm, I'm looking straight from this cave. I'm looking straight towards the um, Hangapokura. Hangapokura Ahu. Like there's there's two Ahu fused together, I and mean, I'm looking at how the all the pieces of the statues are shattered by a very uh, strong fall. Right? There's some statues that are fallen forwards. There are some statues that are lying backwards, broken in the neck with one piece fallen at quite a distance from there, top knots at a big distance from that place, and even some fragments of statues missing, right? So removed clearly from the statues, right? Yeah. So what's the carefulness on that? Well, they just weren't that good at it. <laughs> Man, they just weren't that So uh, <laughs> when, when, when it comes to, to, so we can agree at, at one thing. So I, I see that there's a rationale behind it, right? Uh, replacement, right? Yeah. You know that there are lots of Ahu that have been built on top of other yeah, Ahu. Uh, yeah. And the Ahu that were the older Ahu, the one that's going to be replaced, they, got recycled, right? they lower those statues too. Yeah. I don't know if they do it carefully, but they lower the statues to build a new platform on top yeah. and to put new, bigger statues some on of, top. Some, right? some of them weren't even lowered. Some of them, they were left actually like that. They, they left like that, just standing there and they just rebuilt around it. Right? Yeah. But, but, but... I mean, maybe this guy found one statue, and it's what we were talking in the previous podcast, in, in episode one, yeah, right? Because that, yeah. yeah, that that you were saying that they found like ten coconuts with biting marks from rats, and they said, "Oh, so that means all the coconuts on the island yeah. uh, were eaten by rats, yeah, yeah. right?" Or they found ten human bones that have no signs of uh, physical trauma caused by obsidian spear points. So, so they said, "Oh, that means that none." Uh, yeah. That that never really happens, right? Yeah. So the right. same the same here. It's, a, right? it's it's all about how you make an interpretation of the evidence that you see. So maybe this guy found that one of those statues that were lowered in order to build a new platform and said, "Oh, that means that all the statues of the island." Man, there's 300 statues, and I'm yeah. certain that he yeah. didn't even care research about, yeah. five percent of those statues. He, he didn't even care to do the research, probably. But the thing is, like, again, like. Going back a little to the main point, and this is really what I see in this whole thing, is that bullshit is always going to be there, we just have to cope with it. The thing is, how much of that should the global image of the island have? 10%? 50% bullshit and 50% reality? 75%? Should we keep it growing? Shouldn't we? It doesn't depend on us. It depends on the market. So yeah, that's why I'm. That's that's why I believe. This is my little grain of sand when it comes to 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 to, to do this whole thing, right? Like that's why I want I wanted to dedicate this episode to this topic in particular. Okay. Because I want to let people know if you're listening out there, don't fall for this bullshit. Don't do it. Do research. Please do research. Fact checking. Fact check everything you see. And even if you don't, just come with an open mind. You know, like, even if you don't, it's but this always is, blank slate. It, it's so ridiculous that we are asking people to come with an open mind when it's the bullshit people that are actually the ones saying, no, you should keep an open mind in order to, to understand that the aliens actually did this whole thing, right? I mean, there's, don't, there, I heard one time, don't open, don't let your brain, don't open your mind too much so you let your brain fall off. You know? Yeah, 
Yeah. Don't you know? Don't don't be so yeah, open minded. Your to, brain your brain is gonna fall off. To me, it's know? it's just enough to not believe everything yeah. anybody says and and to really uh, ask ask your tour guides, man. Not all the tour guides on this island are good. So ask oh, them. No. Ask, yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely not, right? Definitely not. So yeah. ask them. Ask them how they know that. A ask them what's their source. What, yeah. what are the sources for, for what they are saying and, and, and what's the evidence for it, right? Yeah, definitely. Now, obviously, you have to understand that there are, there's scant evidence for lots of stuff, right? That, and, and obviously, you, you should not expect or come to the island expecting to um, find, like, really clear evidence of everything, right? Obviously, yeah. there's, there's very little or scant evidence for some things. Yeah, that's... But at least... Uh, what the guide says, any any anyone, right? What the guy says should uh, fit with as little evidence as there exists, but it should fit with it. Right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, and I, and I guess that's why bullshit always comes a little bit in, because uh, some of the evidence here it's pretty much interpreted. You know, like uh, so so again, like come with an open mind, but don't let your mind, don't let your brain fall off with your. Uh, with all this stuff, you know, like it's even some of the evidence is really scant, but if it doesn't fit, you know, if you hear something that doesn't fit, if you see something, if you have an idea, if you do your sub your own subjective exercise and you, they, you have questions, you know, it's always good to ask them. Never stay with the question, never stay yourself wondering stuff, you know, and even if the tour guide, don't expect the tour guides to know everything, right? That's another thing. That's why I'm rec I recommend people to, to you know, read a book uh, if you're more interested in it. Because not every tour guide knows everything. Man, but books... That, oh, so we are going again at it, right? Yeah. Uh, reading a book. Man, books... It, 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 it's, it's the same thing. Books oh. are full of bullshit. Uh, no, too, but, right? you know, like... And especially yeah. the bestsellers. So they go to the book bookstore... Don't go and, to and, Jared and, Diamond. And, and they go to the bookstore and say... Give me the, the most read book about Easter Island. They give them Jared Diamond. They give them well, Thor Heyerdahl. They give them... Well, well, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to... Von Daniken. Eric Von Daniken. The guy who started it all with the aliens. Eric Von Daniken. So, also um, hosted the Nation Aliens show. Why don't, why don't we do something? Why don't we put some... Um, you know, read some... Some certified proper articles. You know, I know some of this stuff have very... Like, it's sometimes it's hard to understand. But for the... For all us, the commoner people that want to learn, you know, you can read good books, you know, I would recommend you to go to your library, local library, go to a university, go to, you know, to a web page of a university, something that's backed up, don't just go to a fucking blogspot.com bullshit. And you know? stay tuned to this uh, podcast, yeah, because definitely. we are really going to... to... To, to be no bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we're At we're all. gonna keep it no bullshit. Completely yeah. bu no bullshit. No bullshit. No, I, some vegans try to keep it no gluten. We're yeah. gonna keep it no bullshit. Yeah. All right. So, uh, well, do we? Uh, are we missing something? Like because it's a it's a big topic, right? But are, are we missing something, or do you think it's uh, we should uh, release this? I think it was. I think this is good enough. You know. I think we ref, we we left. We. I think the conclusion is pretty clear. You know. There's a lot of bullshit out there. Be careful. And uh, you know. Uh, uh, the only thing that I'm really concerned about. So the, the, is when it when it comes to image. bullshit, like it's it's uh, just to to kind of give some insight about how to be. Uh, uh, on guard, like when it comes to bullshit, it's like those people that only deny or, or try to refute other people's uh, ideas without offering something comparable that's support, um, supported by evidence, like yeah. uh, as an alternative. Like yeah. the people that say, "Oh, but how do you explain this or that?" Right? Or how do yeah. you explain that this or that or whatever? Like it, it's it's. The whole how you do you explain this or that does not give them license to claim the aliens or, or magnetic fields uh, did it, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, so, well, it's about all about the evidence, right? If extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, if the aliens did it, right, 
uh, well, you should measure that with exactly the same um, rule. Yeah, as that's... you measure scientific knowledge, right? Yeah. When they claim, oh no, science, Western mainstream, mainstream. That's what they like to say, mainstream science. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. They fail to provide an evidence for the transportation of the statue, or fail to provide a, a useful theory in the last uh, 100 years about how the statues were transported. Well, that's completely false. We have like 10 different hypotheses with practical experiments that have proved that human beings could have done this. In ancient times, yeah. Uh, the fact that we don't know which one of those ways, if any of those, was the ones that used, any given point, yeah. does not mean that there's no evidence, right? There yeah. is evidence. There's plenty of evidence, but but they say, well, since they don't have evidence about how it was done, it it must have been the aliens. Well, that's completely ridiculous. Why must it have been the aliens? Yeah. Why must it have been the aliens? Why don't they give evidence that the aliens did it? That's yeah. speculation, speculative. Um, opinions from denial does not prove aliens did anything. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, don't don't fact check everything again. Like, and how do you fact check the aliens? How do you fact check the aliens with real science? That's why the, you you. It sounds, you know, you don't you don't really have. And then it's you go really into the. Easy and, to, it's, it's really easy to, to. And and be suspicious, especially when they go into the conspiracy theory. Oh no, they have hidden the truth because there's a uh, government yeah. conspiracy or there's a world conspiracy for to hide us the oh, truth yeah. or whatever. Or, so, or, so that's crap. That's crap. That's bullshit. Uh, so um, be suspicious of all of that. Yeah, yeah. If you if you see <laughs> if you see any precious rocks hanging from the, somebody's neck. Be suspicious of that. Yeah, and uh, from all YouTube channels with automated voices, like like these oh, voiceovers from uh, man, please. Uh, oh, that's I think that's uns that it, that's needless to say that. Yeah. It's, it's no, it is. You would be surprised. I'm sure they have much more views than our channel has. Oh yeah. For the time being, for now, <laughs> right? All right. Yeah. It was a great pleasure to be with you again. Yeah. And uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned, and we'll come back with some more stuff interesting stuff about Bapanui from here on out. I'll see you next week. Alright, farewell.